Okay? Sorry about that. And that's Babinski there. And the toe goes down. That's a normal Babinski. Next, we'll do tests of coordination. And we'll start off by testing coordination um, cerebellar function. So we'll do what's called the finger to nose test. What I'm going to ask you to do is to take your finger, touch my finger, and then touch your nose, and just go back and forth as quickly as you can. Perfectly. Good. Great. Now do the same thing with the other hand. Same finger, the other hand. And I'll move my finger around while you do that. Good. That's perfect. Good. Next is called heel to shin. And what you'll do is you'll take the heel of one foot and run it down the shin of the other. Good. And now do the same thing with the other side. Take the heel and run it down the shin of the other foot. Perfect. OK. For the rest of the test, I'll need you to stand up. Mm -hmm. First thing I'll do is get you just to do a normal gait. So I'm going to ask you to just walk down to the end of the room, turn around, and come back. Good. Perfect. Now stop there and do a couple of steps. And I usually explain this to the patient as the drunk test of a heel to toe gait, walking with one heel in front of the other. And I'm usually demonstrating this to folks as well. Just like that, heel to toe gait. Perfect. That's great. Good. Beautiful. No hands. Okay. <laughs> Good. Now, this is called the Romberg test. What you do is put your feet right next to each other. Hold your hands straight out in front of you with the palms up and close your eyes and keep them there. And this is a coordination test. It's also a subtle test of strength because if someone's very weak or a little weak in one hand, that hand will drift a little. But this is perfect. Good. You can open your eyes. That's just right. Good. Okay. Another test for fine coordination of the hands, you take the thumb and touch each finger in sequence, just like that. Just like that. Good. Perfect. Great. Okay. Good. So again, this was a brief neurologic exam which builded perfectly. We first checked mental status. We checked the cranial nerves. We checked his sensation. We checked his strength including his reflexes, and we checked his coordination. And he did all those very well. And as you can see, you can do this very briefly as part of a normal examination. Open your eyes wide. Okay. All the way over, all the way back, all the way over, and up, and down, coming back. Okay. Look over here. Quickly look over there. You got your tongue all the way out. And again, we're just gonna okay, and then all the way out as, as far as you can. See if you can get all the way out of your chin. Your good. I want you to move your tongue over here to the left, to the right side. I want you to move over to the left, over here again, and over here again. Okay. And I want you now to stick it all the way out. 
I want you to push against the tongue blade. And I want you to push over here, the other side now. All the way over here. And only push it back. Push it back. Okay, and over here again. You can only push it back. Push it back. Okay, good. Hold them up like that if you can. And close your eyes and hold still. Okay. Open up your eyes. Just tap on your knees. Okay, we're going to tap over here. We're going to tap on your ankle. Okay, we're going to tap right here. Yeah, you just have, you can relax. A couple of beats of clonus. going to do this one. Try not to pull back. Okay, so I'll just take my hand here, and we'll just move it off of here. Okay, that's fine. You got your balance? Hands. Okay, that's right, that's fine, let's go, let's go back. Okay. 